Okay, this how-to video is gonna talk about how to use the fan-out generators inside the Cadence PCB tools. So I've got a place board here, and maybe want to add some, some default vars in lots and lots of locations on the same components, etc. So I've got several different options here. If we go to the root menu, we've got something called create fan out. Um, this, the options pane then changes, and we can obviously pick the layer start and end, um, whether we want to use a via structure, which I'll come back to, but if I've got a default via, I can base it on the net that I use, or I can pick a VAR that I want. Um, I pick the VAR direction, so obviously there's BJ Quadrant, VAR in pads, all the different directions, inwards, outwards, etc. So if we just do outwards, you can override the, the, the default C line width if you wanted, and maybe specify a value. So for these, I'm just going to specify 0.4. I can specify the pin to VAR space. Um, and then I've got options to whether I choose either the complete symbol or the pin. In this example, I'm just going to do the symbol, select the part, and the fan out vias get created. Now one of the biggest advantages of having fan out vias is when I was to move a component for example, um, if I was to rotate this and move the component, the vias stay with that component so it saves me having to reroute or, or modify those as I go along. I can also use the command to copy the fan out um, based on the same package size or the same device, device type if I then go and pick the component, it would add fan out vias for all of those components. It will obviously potentially create DRC errors, so these aren't in the via, the via list, for example. Um, but it's worthwhile kind of considering looking at that um, as a quick way to add, add your fan out vias very, very quickly. Um, let's just uh, get rid of those DRCs for now. So the next option, obviously, I'm going to do a BGA. I've got a BGA option here. I want to add some fan out bias to this. So if we use the root create fan out, we'll look at our options pane again. Um, this scenario, I'm actually going to choose a, a, a BGA quadrant style. I'm not going to override the line width. Um, I'm going to include the same net pins. I'm not too worried about the unassigned pins. I then select the BGA itself, and it would add the required fan out bias and make that kind of nice um, BGA quadrant style. Um, which does leave the channel spaces quite open um, if you wanted to route those. What we'll do is we'll actually include the other side pins and we'll do um, maybe one of these options. And again, you can get to see the fan out vias uh, and the fan out vias it works. If we go to the fine pane and maybe instead of choosing symbols, we'll just choose pins. I can come along and, and very specifically select the pins that I want to add the fan out vias to. Let's just do an oops on all of those because what I'm not doing is centering that. So if I go to the options pane, uh, let's do the pin to bar space and change that to centered then that will actually center the fan out in the correct location rather than using a specific lens distance. The final option really is, is creating uh, via structure so there may be some scenarios if you go to the root um, structure and create where you want to make a, a very specific um, via structure so let's just uh, do this as an example so if I was going to manually root out of this, this pin um, I want to come out and I want to add a via to the bottom. I can add maybe some very specific, I've got some blind and varied vias here, so these are coming down in a very specific way. That gives me a specific um, structure that I want to use and I want to use that on all the other pins on this on these type of devices. So what I can do is I can use root, structure and create. Um, I've got the name there. So what we'll do is I want to preserve the properties on the vias and the C lines. And then if we just come here and we'll window select effectively the options that we've got and I think to go and save the structure name click OK I can then reuse that using the fan out command so root I could actually do it from the straight cut from using the place function here but if I did create fan out I can actually choose a standard via structure so it's available there and I can then go and select the pins that I want to go and add that via structure to